Yeah, I leave it on and then it's on for like two and a half hours. Okay, uh, lights please, Olivia. Build, pull apart, graph. Go to the front here. Ready. Okay, I'd like you to read that out loud, that first sentence. And read that. Okay, guys, guys, if you're not reading with your fingers on the paper and your lips moving, by the time you're out of my class, after nine months, my life is pointless. Okay? Three body parts, folks. Go, read. I appreciate the reaffirmation, but I'll be clear once you're reading with your body parts. All right, guys. For an equation and a circle, there's only two things you need. You need a center, which is your HK, and your radius. In this case, we've been given the center and we've been given the radius. So step one, you're going to write the equation of a circle. Now on today's handout, you will notice the gray rectangles all over the place, the boxes. Every single time you see a gray box, you are writing out this equation. So you'll be rewriting it nearly a dozen times. Why? Because I want you to memorize it, and you're not taking this test until after Easter break. You really want this stuck in your head. Equation, plug, clean. Now, take, circulate. Uh, guys in the back, I need you to follow right here with me. When I circle something, you're circling stuff. Circle, shocking. Yes, absolutely wonderful. Circle the K. Plug it in right there. Circle the radius, just plug it in right underneath. Line it up as best you can. Now, pull down the equation around your plug-in. Yeah, we're getting there, we're getting there. Okay, so that's what I call this plug-in. Clean stuff up. X minus nothing is just what? Good. I'll say it again. X minus nothing is? Fabulous. So this lovely stuff down here is just one big fat X squared. Okay. We have a double negative here. Uh-huh. So we go like so. Oh, that's a Y. So when the original is negative, in the final result, double negative becomes positive. Exponent, expand. Come over here in the margin. Write 3 root 2 times 3 root 2. Mm -hmm. Outies, innies. So 3 times 3, out loud, folks. Last time I checked, yes. Root 2 times root 2 is just root 4, which is technically just what? 2. Bam, that's why that's 2. So this right here, when you square it, is 18. That's, that's fine. Let's come back over here. Do you, fabulous. Do you see the square there? So we come over here. We do 3 root 2 times 3 root 2. You okay so far? Okay, what is 3 times 3? 9. What is root 2 times root 2? Two? Just 2. Technically, it's root 4, but root 4 is 2. Guys, guys, it's been a while since you've done this, but root 2 times root 2 is just 2. We good? Okay, you are done. That's it. Okay. Let's do it two more times. Ready. I'd like you to finger track, read this out loud, underline the key components. Go. There should be an explosion of mumbling, guys. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. All right. To write an equation, you only need two things. What and what? Let's write it down. We have the center this time. And we've been given the what, folks? Okay, we have the diameter. Find the radius. Go. Mm -hmm. I'm going to land on someone in about five seconds. Good, good. Okay, Sarah, what's our radius do? Six it is. So there we go. Let's write our equation that you are going to rewrite nearly a dozen times today. Now carefully plug in right underneath. And I highly recommend you actually circle stuff. Bring down the equation around it. Uh, versus xy. OK, we use distinct uh, variables for hk because it's a specialized point. All right, clean it up, folks. And we're done. Mm -hmm. Just this, folks. All righty. Uh, I mean, it's going to get, we're, we're, we're eating straight up top ramen right now, and I'm, we're going to add a little bit of spices for the next one. Just a little. Okay. Whatever sounds delightful. <laughs> I love it. Oh, okay, ready? Read that. Underline the keywords, folks. We're still building, folks. Okay, we have the center this time. And now we're going to do a diagram for something that's meant by point on the circle. So, to write an equation, we need a what and a what? A what? Fabulous. We need those. We have our center already. Go ahead and label your HK so you're halfway there. And we have a point, with a, which is an XY on the circle. So let's start by graphing our center. That's your HK. Okay. Now graph this point on a circle. So just graph that point, and I'll show you what this looks like visually in just a moment. So the red is a point on the circle. So I don't expect artistic perfection, but I'd like you to draw a circle that goes through the red and to the best of your ability goes evenly around that center. Artistic capacity is not being graded here, folks. It, if it ends up looking like an egg, I'm okay. It's all right, folks. I just want your brain to register. What does a point on a circle mean? It's, it's on. So look at what we need. We need a center, which we only have. What are we missing, friends, or what? Let's trace the radius, which is from center to a point on the circle. Uh huh. which looks like a line, which means what are we going to find of that line? I want to take a wild guess. Lovely.
All righty, folks. So make yourself, instead of saying distance equals, write the word radius equals. Make yourself a distance template because the radius is the distance. You could, absolutely. Now you're going to go through. I want you to plunk your X's right there and your Y's right there. Okay, now you keep your eyes down, finish around math, look up when you're done, and see if we match. Good deal? All right, guys. So there's only two things you need for an equation of a a sector and a radius, which you just found. So now go ahead and plug it into the equation. Plunk it in. I'm sorry I cheated a little bit. I didn't put the equation on there, but I'm just... And then just clean it up, folks. Wow, that should look like a plus sign. Let's try that. And you are done. Okay, so that's build. Part and graph is very easy. Ready? Next page. Oh, yes. Did you do the videos last night? Okay. You're actually brilliant to have spotted that. We're going to come right back to it. I'll show you later. Yes. Okay, folks. Ready? Graph. You. Right underneath it, as close as possible, right underneath. Right underneath, light it up. I want you to pull out the H, the K. And the radius, I'll give you about 20 seconds here. Pull out the H, the K, and the Um, I box this up here. Yeah, you can get up and get it. Alrighty, guys, watch. My H is a positive 3. If it was negative, the signs would have swapped. Okay, watch. Okay, what did you have to go in K? R squared is 9. So R is 5. You got it? Okay, so let's bring it down. Our radius is 3. Our H is positive 3, our K is negative 2. I am so glad you asked. So R squared is 9. R squared is 9. Square root. You. Kachow? Got it. There we go. Start by, start by graphing this. Cars, ladies. Cars. All right. I love graphing circles. They're so easy. All you have to do is graph the center and count out the... No, no, someone actually said it. What if I need to do myself? Here, I said that's well. The center and the... Radius. Radius. Fabulous. Ready? North, south, east, west, three bunny hops. One, two, three. One, two, three. 
Three bunny hops. Fabulous. I'm so glad you asked, Santos, right there. What's the length of a radius, sir? Got it. Fabulous. Like I said, the hardest part here is trying to make a circle look like a circle. And if it's not perfect, that is... Okay. Fabulous. Yeah, you artsy students will have an edge here. All right. Now, there is one way... Which means we're going to start with the graph and work backwards to the center. We're going to graph a circle. We are not giving it a okay. So this is what we know. It's on the x-axis. Darken this. Darken that. Not. Yes. Your h will equal zero. Okay. Now, x equals negative six, guys. For those of you who have a hard time graphing that, that is all the points. Guys, please don't talk while I'm talking. I know this is a little bit longer than usual, but just stay with me. It's all the points where you have six something. So you start by graphing a bunch of points. Six, zero, six, one, six, two. Right there, folks. And that is a line. X equals six. Oh, that's a very bad line. So much for straight. Oh, let's try that again. All righty, guys. So what I just graphed was x equals 6. And then we want to graph the line y equals negative 4. So that's something called a negative 4. So 0, negative 4, 1, negative 4, 2, negative 4. And you see that that is a horizontal line. This is the hardest thing you'll do today. If you get this, it's, it's, it's easier than this. Okay. Now, under the word tangent, write the word cut. Oops. 
we know wherever the center is, how many units away from the green will it be? Okay, so I know I need to be four units away from the blue. One, two, three, four. So if I'm starting at six, this point, which is the center of the circle, is two, zero. One, two, three, four. I've got four units this way, four units that way. My radii are even. Do you see that? And so my circle looks ish like this. Ish. Just out of curiosity, thumbs up if you actually got that in the right place. Wow, more than half of you. Fabulous. Now from here, let's do our equation. Our center is zero. Our radius is four. Plug it in. Yes. What about? Yeah, good. Okay, clean it up and you're done, folks. So that's called walking backwards from the graph to the actual equation. You'll have a couple of those today. The best way to figure it out is just to do a Right, folks, uh, 35 minutes. Wherever you're at, if you're not done with the reading, and everyone's starting on page seven. Uh, everyone's starting on page seven. I know. Unless you're done with that. <laughs>